bunkers to escape the squatter man cataclysm did ancient survivors reside here when the ancient solar system fell apart we weren't cavemen but we did return to the earth's caves for survival during these cataclysmic occurrences or maybe as new research suggests these caves were carved by gigantic ice age creatures researchers now suspect that deep grooves carved into the ceiling cave were carved by gigantic ground sloths that roamed this region until they went extinct more than 10,000 years ago. For generations, these structures have puzzled travellers and scientists who have debated how they formed. Explorers in the early 20th century attributed the spaces to ancient indigenous groups, but research in the past decade have coalesced around the theory that the caves were carved by extinct megafauna. Paleontologists have amassed evidence to tease out which creatures were responsible and how they carved such huge burrows. These are the biggest known caves of their type in the world, carved from solid rock. Researchers call these caves giant paleo burrows and most are concentrated in Brazil with a few in Argentina. According to Francisco Buckman, who is a paleo-oceanographer at Sao Paulo State University in São Vicente in Brazil, the majority of the caves are found in particular layers of sandstone called the Botucatu Formation. Inside the armadillo's den, the rock is covered with modern graffiti, which researchers can spot because its edges are much crisper than those of the inscriptions made by ancient human residents. The researchers point out a zigzag carving on the wall. This line puzzled many explorers who came here in the past, but what it most certainly shows is an ancient map of the Rokhina River that flows nearby, because it depicts specific bends seen in the nearby canyons. Past indigenous groups could have used it to orientate themselves in the region. Just a few metres beyond the zigzag line, the cave presents evidence of even older residents. The large scratches on the wall and ceiling have stunned paleontologists and other scientists from across Southern America. One species, a South American sloth that lived between 4 million and 12,500 years ago, reached more than 3 metres in length and weighed up to 1,000 500 kilograms. And the anatomy of these sloths suggest that they were efficient diggers. And if it was carved out by animals, maybe these animals carved out these gigantic burrows to escape the squatter man cataclysm. The armadillo's den is known locally as Toco do Tattoo. It is a notable archaeological site in southern Brazil. The name Toca do Atu translates to armadillo's den in Portuguese, reflecting the burrow-like structure found at this site. These structures have intrigued researchers and the public alike, leading to various theories about their origin and purpose. One theory published to Nature this week suggests that these underground tunnels were created by prehistoric giant armadillos or other large animals, such as ground sloths which inhabited the region during the Pleistocene Epoch. This size and shape of the tunnel supports this hypothesis as they closely resemble the burrows of modern armadillos, but on a much larger scale. Another theory posits that these tunnels were human-made, possibly serving as shelters or storage spaces. However, there is no substantial evidence to support the idea that Toku do Tattoo functioned as a bunker to escape a cataclysm associated with Saturn's demise. The concept of a Saturnian cataclysm is not recognised in mainstream archaeology or astronomy, but researchers like David Talbot and Anthony Parat have proven otherwise. But what do you guys think about the idea that these caves were gigantic burrows carved out by prehistoric animals? Comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.